In this video, we're going to look at y equals graphs. So that's a graph where it could be the line's going to be something like y equals 2, y equals 3, y equals minus 1, something like that. So just remember that a coordinate comes in the format x, y. That means that the x value comes first and then the y value second. So for instance, if you're asked to plot the coordinate 3, 1, 3, 1, you'd be going 3 along the x-axis and then 1 up vertically up the y axis y-axis direction. So, if we were, this is a rule, and it's saying that the y part has always got to be equal to 2. So, an example would be something like 1, 2. Because in this coordinate, the y part of the coordinate is equal to 2. Another one would be 3, 2. Another one could be minus 1, 2. All these coordinates follow this rule. They all have a y part equal to 2. So, let's plot them. 1, 2. 3, 2. Minus 1, 2. You'll notice that all of those three points are in a horizontal line. So if, if you were to get your ruler and draw a horizontal line through them, it would look something like this. So that's the line y equals 2. Notice that that line y equals 2 goes through the y-axis at 2. So if you're asked to draw the graph y equals 5, it would be a horizontal line that goes through 5 on the y-axis, like this. Another one could be something like this, y equals minus 2. And again, that would be a horizontal line that goes through minus 2 in the y-axis, uh, y like this. So now we've been draw uh, two graphs have been drawn for us, and we've got to write down their equations. So as you can see, this is a horizontal line that goes through 3 in the y-axis, so the equation would be y equals 3, because all the points in this line have a height of 3. This line here, all of them have got a height of minus 1, and they go through uh, the y-axis at minus 1, so the equation would be y equals minus 1.